everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. My name is Nessa and today we're gonna take a look at the American Crocodile by uh, Vincia Blend. And when I saw that I knew right away I have seen this name before because I have never heard about this mother before this week. But this Monday, I put up a video about the Yakara uh, Cayman mud. So we have actually seen something from this mud before. Not a lot, but we have one mud, uh, which were very good as far as I remember. Yeah, it is a few days since. And as you know, I make a lot of mud videos, so I can't remember everything clearly. But I'm pretty sure that it was a Pretty good mud to be honest. So I'm intrigued and we have them all swimming over here. Though I will say if you look at the picture down below, they have this very yellowish palish shoe on the underside of the face and the neck down to the belly. Sorry. Um and I do feel like that is accomplished here. The picture I put up here was the most colored picture I could find because most of the pictures I found they were very muddy and not this wet muddy but this uh, been bathing in mud and then it's dried up and then they became this pale grayish color of appearance but it isn't their true color. I feel like he went for the grayish color color which is this dry and muddy color now they are with all of them so hopefully we can get one of them yeah you saw that for a second that pale grayish color that would be that dried up mud so hopefully if we can get her to dry up she already did it seems like you can see this very grayish color isn't the same as the one we have on the picture but i do believe it's because he or she looked at pictures of them when they were muddy so it's just that appeal that the mud have and honestly crocodiles love to be muddy and uh, that's how they appear most of the time and that isn't that weird i will say though when they are in muddy uh, in water they get more coloration but let's jump into zoopedia they are vulnerable and they are a thousand to two thousand lived in the wild. They live in North and South America, more specifically the US, Hispa Hispaniola, I think, Cuba, Jamaica, Mexico, uh, Venezuela and Peru. Uh, and they live in aquatic and a tropical biomes one of them need up 210 square meters of land and 210 of water no deep water but i assume they deep dive if you give them a enough they haven't did it done it here yet but i don't have the most water in this habitat though um they live from 12 to 42 degrees celsius and you need a great two fins 4 feet 95 so that's around a meter and 60 70 um, they recommend an, uh, only one male in a habitat only one female in a habitat so if you have both male and female you're gonna have one of each but if you have a all gendered habitat still just one of each you know what i mean uh, aggression level equals to dominance they are polyamorous so if you like me have a uh, group size and fighting off then you can cheat and put more in there and the male will impregnate all of the female all the time um, but if you have aggression turned on fighting um, overcrowding then it will become an issue uh, they are confident but guess should not enter the habitat the males are bigger than the females here. They grow to 13 feet. That's a lot. Um, that's around 4 meters long. And the females around 9. So that's around 9.8. Sorry, 9 so that would be around 3 meters long. Roughly. 
they live for around 70 years and the males weigh around 880 pounds and the females 300 half of that then we roughly have 13 kilos they reach sexual maturity at age 10 and they can reproduce until they die they will give between one and four offspring every second year and they're pregnant for three months they should be very easy to get to reproduce in captivity no interspecies enrichment but all of that enrichment is the same as the saltwater crocodiles will go into a habitat clay crocodile or search crocodile and you will get the right stuff so it's the mud baths the two big balls we have the um prey scented sack i think it's called and the two rubbing pads we have the blood scent marker the sprinkler and both water jet for food enrichment we have this rinse rain feeder blood scent pumpkin frozen fish and both underwater feeders also <laughs> this one you know uh, it's not normal that we get this on a mud but this one half now one thing i thought about while reading that was that the male should be bigger than the female i haven't noticed anything but maybe it's me who haven't noticed it oh female here please don't move don't stay stay yeah they are actually he's actually a big piece bigger so it makes sense it, I, it's just me who haven't noticed but here you can clearly see also the coloration difference between the dryer and the wither one i would like to show you their eyes though because their eyes are doing funny things here you see it's kind of looks like there's a light in the middle of the eye again i haven't uh, looked at this uh that closely but as you can see here when it blinks it looks so weird uh i can't see if other mutts or animals from frontier does this but i just see it as a really weird thing especially because that light source in there moves so now it's in front of the pupil and before it was in the middle so that seems a little weird to me just for comparison going over here yeah here you can see now it's in the middle of the pupil so i think it's depending on where the sun is i do like the animation with them and you can see here the mouse works very nice there's no blank spots in there or anything and you can see the texture down here which also is a nice touch all of these uh i wouldn't i almost called it simple coloration but it isn't um but so many um textures i should just find the right word here textures and different color palettes and it's quite magnificent actually to watch there is a little bit of blurriness up here keep in mind that might be my computer and not the mud but it may also be the mud um but it just seems weird to me that it would be blurry here when we have all of this beautiful texture here i do feel though the coloration here is don't have as much love put into it as this have again i do feel like he went for that um, a grayish muddy coloration scheme which i understand but it looks too clean as you can see here it's just too clean which i feel like is a, a little bit sad and uh, is it also yeah it's pretty much the same here we have a little bit of texture when we go close but it's the exact exact same color all around which i feel like if you go for that muddy coloration then you must also go for that it's more muddy some places than others 
not completely covered in mud um, all over, which I feel like this is uh, showing more. But uh, yeah, but the uh, animation, as I say, works fine. They move quite beautifully. Uh, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. And I actually think the female have a little more red undertone in the gray than the male have. Uh, but I'm not sure about that. Let's go for the babies. You know I love looking at babies. And also reptilian babies. I grew up, my mom can... <laughs> she's allergic to fur. Now, keep in mind that it's wet. Uh, she's allergic to fur, so for many years we only had... Uh, reptilians back here. We have a few uh, turtles and then we have a few nut cavens. What's it called? I think it's called monitors or something like that. Like, yeah, they wasn't bigger than this. We have a few different kinds, lizards, something like that. Uh, and I love them so much. I had one of them that just could sit here when I did my homework, which was kind of cool. Um, I still love my cats more. I also think that as an adult you are more able to understand loving a creature where when you are a child it's more based on whether or not it's fun. But uh, here again, I feel like just this pattern here shows more work put into it than the adult, but it's not unusual that some mothers actually do put, put in more work on the babies. Um, it's quite beautiful, the baby here. I also feel like the eye here is better on the baby. Uh, and I do believe all of the animation of the baby also is very good. So. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this mud is actually quite good uh, overall. There are the issues I have. The issue with the paintwork isn't as bad here because we have the deeper coloration in beneath, but on the tail it's a bit too clear. As soon as it hits the water, it looks so much better. And especially if we look like if we go for dirty water, for instance, it's a little bit too high up in the water. I feel like it should be placed just a tiny bit lower, but I'm not sure. Go for dirty water, the Amazon water would also make a lot of sense here. Maybe make it less see-through if we want that. Um... Then it's actually quite good with the coloration here, uh, but it's what you're going for. And if you want, really want a crocodile, and the saltwater crocodile is just too big, then this is clearly an option. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to find more mutts from this mother because he's is intriguing me, or she. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> So, uh, but maybe it's a mother that only does reptilians, I'm not sure. I hope not, because uh, we almost out of the uh, crocodilians from... We have crocodiles today and tomorrow, and then we're done with crocodilians. And we already did the caimans and the alligator. So I hope to find more mutts from this mother to see what else he or she is up to. Um, but yeah, they are they are good and they have a lot of texture. They are ve very well textured, um, and the animation w works good. So uh, yeah, you know, sorry, <laughs> you know, well, guys, like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again, either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.